Alright, this is part three of which is better, PS3 or Xbox 360. I know I spent a lot of time talking in the PS3 edition. So, here we go. Um, I'm on the PS3 bad stuff right now, by the way. Um, if you're just tuning into this, please go check out my first two. Because, um, you'll kind of, I kind of want you guys to watch this because it's pretty important. Don't watch it just because it's PS3. And this is PS3 bad stuff, so don't watch this if, um, you're an Xbox 360 fanboy and just want to hear everything that's bad about the PS3. So I've already talked about the red light of death. Now I'm going to talk about the online play. Okay, online play is, I'm going to say it, terrible. I mean, like, it, in Call of Duty, it's hard to get into a game. It is, <coughs> in some ways, it is extremely laggy. Laggish. Um... I mean, I, I hate the online play for PS3, and like I said, the premium package, it's supposed to, f it's supposed to save that. I'm not sure about that, but um, hopefully it will be a lot better in the future. Um, controller does not feel big enough, really, in the hands like the Xbox 360 does. Okay, PS3 controller, pretty small, if you ask me, and I do not like small. I like the bulky... Xbox 360 because it feels right in the hands. Another thing that they did wrong with this is that the R2 trigger. So if you're watching a movie and you put the controller down, it could press these down on accident. I like the Xbox 360 where it has that protective color and you covering and you can't accidentally uh, rub your um, R2 and L2 buttons buttons or LT and RT buttons uh, like the PS3. Uh, the controller is not solid at all. Well, it is solid, but like, it's not that really great. I mean, like, okay, look. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's a controller squeaking because I'm squeezing it. I squeeze. I these controllers are pretty solid sometimes, but like, you see this little crack right here. This is what my cousin accidentally did, and this is one of the reasons why he sold his PS3. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think that was a good idea anyway, but um, this is not this is not the whole reason he sold the PS3. If that's what you're thinking, but um, he dropped this once, and it cracked like this, and he don't, he only dropped it like this. He only dropped it like that. I dropped it on my lap, so it wouldn't break anymore. It's still usable, but it's annoying when you're playing a game because it rubs against your hand and it's very uncomfortable. So I do; these are not very reliable if you drop it on the on the floor. <coughs> <coughs> and it wasn't that high. We were about like right here, and we dropped it like that, and you could hear that really big bounce. So they're not that solid, if you ask me. Um. Okay. PS3, uh, um, the PS3 Slim, they did a better thing about this, but it is a major finger and dust, fingerprint and dust collector. I mean, really. I, I have to clean my PS3 daily so I don't get that much dust stuck in the flat fans. And I don't like fingerprints at all. I mean, I try to keep my PS3 in top notch condition. Uh, I've scratched it a couple times, which made me kind of sad. Um, but I'll just show you how easy it is to get a fingerprint on the PS3. Ugh. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this at all. No, you won't, but like, if you do that or just press your finger down, you're going to have a fingerprint on there, which I hate. PS3 is a great thing, but really, I mean, it's just stupid. I hate the fingerprint dust collector and my cousin is the one that got the PS3 Slim, and it was a great PS PS3. I hate I loved how it looked. I liked it better than that, but a lot of people didn't. So, um, but I actually like how it looks better on that, and I like the meat finish. I love the glossiness of it, but really I hate fingerprints and dust. So the X PS3 Slim I would get if you do not like fingerprints and dust. Um, okay, now I'm gonna talk about so I'm gonna talk about the Xbox 360 and PS3 um, cell rate. Okay, Xbox 360 
has sold two million copies or yeah, over two million copies. <coughs> I'm not sure where it's at right now, but it's pretty high. And but this is because first of all they sold it before the PS3, and uh, and it was right on Christmas Day, or not on Christmas Day, but near Christmas time. And people really wanted to buy something for their kids, or just wanted to buy something for the family or something. So they just bought it because uh, they've heard really great reviews about it. PS3 um, it sold 1.5 million copies. That kind of tells you something because it came after the Xbox 360, and uh, it was like a year after. Half like six months after I don't know, but still it was right. It was after the 360. That kind of tells you something, doesn't it? I mean, like it wasn't even on Christmas Day either. They they released it like November or something. I don't know when they released it actually, but it was crazy. I mean, really. Um, so you kind of gotta think about that kind of stuff when you're think when you're thinking about which system is better. Okay, my final decision on which system is better. Neither. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying they're really good. They're both really good. Neither system is better than the other. They're both really great. The Red Ring of Death is not a factor, I don't think. Because I mean, you, you might have to worry about it, but don't play your Xbox 360 if you get one 24-7. Like, 12 hours every day without stopping. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's how people get their... Ring, red Ring of Death, and probably how people get the Red Light of Death on the 360, and not 360, nah, the PS3, which, it's just, it's stupid to play 12 hours a day, I mean, do you have a life? Now, uh, people that know, know me, uh, they know I'm a skater, so I skate, like, all the time, I'm hardly ever on my PS3, but I'm sick of people saying, oh my god, 360 is better, PS3 is better. And I, every time I see something like that, I just want I just copy and paste what I've said before. And I'm sorry, it's just really stupid to worry about this. They're both great systems. I mean, sure, the Red Ring of Death. Don't worry about that, really. I mean, you get a three-year warranty. Your Xbox 360 should last you three years. That's how I've had an, a Nintendo 64 for like. I don't know, like, since I was born. 14 years. And it's still working. PS3, I've had it for about a year. And it's still working. So, man, Xbox 360, my friend, has had it for, like, two years or a year. So, don't worry about the, the um, Red Ring of Death, because Microsoft will take care of you. Don't, don't believe everything Microsoft says. Let me check on the camera. Yeah. Okay, I got a good amount of time to check how much I got. So, don't stress out about the little things, really. I mean, um, st stress out about the big things, like, um, let me think. The, the exclusives for them. Um, the, um, what you like about the controller. What you dislike about the controller. What you like about the online. Um... Navigation, don't worry about that. And if you're an HDMI fan, then look up some videos on Xbox 360 setup for HDMI. Because I got so confused, and I, I didn't even set it up. I didn't even try looking up videos. But if you can't, if you can't figure it out either, um, then go and fig go on YouTube and check. Don't just give up. So, um, remember, PS3 controller is very fragile. Xbox 360 has been bring a death, but I would not worry about that too much because of Microsoft and stuff. Uh, I don't think PS3 gets that same warranty for the three years because the red light of death isn't that isn't occurring that often. So thank you for watching. Um, comments, tell me what you think about my video, and tell me what you think is better and. Uh, I will reply if you think like don't say that oh, Xbox 360 is better because it has Halo. Don't say that stuff like that. Say reasons why, like um, because of 
what you think about the online or the functions and everything about it. Just tell me about it. Don't just say PS2 is better. Tell me about it. Message me if you have any questions. Bye.